Welcome back to Mobile Rolling and here we are tonight at Cup Night down here at Globe Derby and I'm here talking with Dakota in with the Pony Trots. How are you tonight, hon? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm good, I'm good. Now, give me a little bit of an insight. I hear you're the ambassador for ovarian cancer to do with tonight's Colours of Teal. Tell us a little bit about that. Oh, well, you yeah, basically we're just doing it to represent um, the ovarian cancer so we can donate money to them so that we can increase the chances of ovarian cancer being cured. That's sensational, hun. It's something that, you know, all of us girls, we've got to get behind these sorts of things, don't we? Yeah. Now, we are really, we really want to get out there, you know, to get more people down here to the trots and especially the kids. And this is something I love myself. I'm really big on this, the pony trots. So could you introduce us to both of your little ponies here tonight? So this is Riley. He is my eight-year-old Shetland. He's been doing it since the second season I've started. Um, he's been doing really, really well this season. I'm really happy with how he's improved um, so he's just been getting better and better as the race season goes on. He's doing really well. That's fantastic. And what about this little one behind us here? So uh, this is Jimmy. He is 42 years of age. Pardon? <laughs> he's 42 years of age. He's been doing it since um, John Crawford's had him. Um, and now he's back with me and he's permanently staying with me. So he's been doing great. That is 42 years of age. Wow. And he's still racing. Yeah. He's um, doing well. He can't run the same distance as what he used to do when he was 39, but he's now, we're just going to race him every now and then when he has the chance. I'm just, I just need to take a moment here. <laughs> he can't, can't do the same, you know, time he used to when he was 39. Wow, he, that's, wow, he's, that's blown me away tonight. You learn something new every day. So, so I, I would love to see more kids come down. So is there any little tips we could give the parents to say, you know, to get their kids cheering on, you know, get their kids down here to come and cheer on at the sidelines, do you think? Oh, well, definitely get your kids involved with the ponies and if they are more intrigued with, like, the harness side of it, definitely bring them down to one of the race meetings and they can mostly hop on one of the quiet ponies around here and go around the parade ring as long as they have a helmet and vest on. Oh, wow, so that's something you guys do offer if, if all the boxes are ticked naturally? Yeah, basically. So, most of one of the quietest ponies that you can get on, just go around the parade room a couple of times at a trot and then you bring them back in so they have a little bit more of experience of it. Well, kids, get on to your parents. This is fantastic. And uh, we're going to uh, hopefully see some ponies out there on the parade. And then we're also going to be watching some of these ponies going around on the um, racetrack soon. Stay with us. And we're down here with the Brown family. How are you going, sweetheart? Good. Are you a bit nervous about tonight's race? Yeah. Yeah. Now, I've been told that your mum and dad are also involved in the trots. Is that true? Yep. Is that where you learnt how to do everything? Mostly. Mostly. Mostly? I can imagine. Does mum help you out a fair bit, though? Yeah. Yeah, I can see mum here in the background. She's, you know, getting your horse and po or getting your pony ready for tonight's races. Does mum cheer you on really loud? No? Oh, we're going to have to go out there and help her after then, aren't we? <laughs> well, good luck tonight, sweetheart, okay? We'll be cheering you on, okay? All right. See ya. See ya. Bye. Now, boys, we had you guys on the show a few weeks ago and tonight, you are both racing tonight, is that right? Yep. Yes, I am. And which ponies are you both racing? Uh, well, I'm racing this one, Little Miss Muffet, and my brother is racing that one, White Nose, and uh, a little cousin, Jackson, is driving that one, Ben 10. Oh, how old's Jackson? He's seven. Oh, that's so cute. And does he look up to you guys now for guidance with all of this? Mm, sometimes. Sometimes, Not yeah. Not all the time. <laughs> that's so fantastic. How do you think you guys are going to go tonight? Uh... Might go all right. Might, yeah. mm. <laughs> Hoping for a good result, hoping for a place, hopefully a win, but we'll have to wait and see. That sounds like, you know, the words of wisdom that have come from a great stable. Like, how, what else can we say tonight? <laughs> all right, we'll be watching you boys out there, okay? Fantastic. So we have Jackson and Madison down here, and um, I'd love for you to introduce your ponies for tonight, Madison. Uh, this is Born to be Wild. And he's in the second race, I think, or the first race, I'm not yeah. sure. And then that's Loosen Up Louie, and then that one's Dash for Cash on the end. Oh, 
goodness me. Now, Jackson, which one are you racing on tonight? Do you know? Ben 10. Ben 10? Isn't that from a cartoon? No? Are you sure? Which one's yours? Uh, that one over there. That one over there that's got all of its gear on it already? Yeah. Yeah. How do you both think you're going to go tonight? Good. Yeah. Good. Good. Yep. Going to win? Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic, guys. We'll be cheering you both on, okay? So, Amity, tell me about what your hopes for tonight are. How do you think your pony's going to go? Good. Um, I just hope he just trots nicely and smoothly. Yeah. And what's your beautiful pony's name? Reach Diablo. So, we just normally call him Oscar. That's his stable name? Yeah. Um, it means Red Devil. Because he's a bit naughty. Ah, oh, because he's a chestnut. Yeah, crazy chestnuts, I hear about that. Yeah, I've got one too. They're all crazy. No, joking, joking. <laughs> well, I, I'm i loving the, they're my colours. I'm loving them tonight. So, yeah, you'll definitely hear me out there screaming and yelling. So, good luck tonight, sweetheart, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Now, Hunter, I hear this is your first season, is that right? Yes. How many races have you done so far? More than five? Yeah. Yeah? What are your ponies' names? Uh, this one's B Barry and that one's Bo. Oh, brilliant. So what made you want to get into doing this? Um, my dad's been doing it for a couple of years and he's still been doing it. And um, I just try to look up to him more and more. Oh, that's so good. Do you hope that once um, you've reached that next level, you'll go on like your dad is? Yeah. Hopefully. Hey, Dad's your superhero? Yeah. Yeah. Dads are cool like that, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> hey, well, what do you think might happen tonight with your ponies? Um, I don't really know. No? Just going out there to have lots of fun? Yeah. Yeah. And can you tell me, what's some of the, tack, what's some of the gear you've got on your pony? Do you know how to do it all yourself yet, or does Mum and Dad still help you out? Mum and Dad still help me out a little bit with... What I have to do more and more, but I do some of the stuff by myself. Oh, that's so good. Hey, you're getting better and better every time, I bet. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. <laughs> well, hope we see you out there tonight, okay, mate? Yeah, all right. Thank you. Now, Matthew, um, tell me a little bit about your ponies you've got down here tonight. Uh, well, this one right here is Porsche. She is... A representative for Team Till, which Dakota is driving. Yes. yes. And this one here is Jimmy Jenkins. I'll be driving him out on the track. As well as this over here is um, Bullseye, one step smaller, and I'll be racing him as well in the Porsche's race. That is absolutely sensational. Now, can you tell me how did you get into the pony trots, into harness racing? Uh, well, I was just interested in the pony trots because my mum and was asking and my older brothers also did it because they wanted to do pony racing so I was like, oh, I want to do pony racing as well because I, I like what you're doing. So I joined in and enjoyed it and I've been doing this for six years now. So That is so good. Six years you yeah. say? Wow. I'm going to go stand next to the pony. But that's okay. <laughs> All right, look, I'm, I love the fact that you're also out here and you're supporting the ovarian cancer um, uh, event that's going on here tonight um, with the pony trots and the ambassadors down here, Dakota. So I think it's great to see everybody, you know, joining in and especially yourself and um, what well, you're going to be competing against her tonight. Yeah. That's a little bit fantastic as well. So we will be down there and we'll be cheering you all on. Yep, Good luck, you. mate. Thank you. <laughs> Found the turn, also now Little Red Devil, White Noise trying to win, and one of the Minion takes down the first pony race. Second then will be Flash Caviar, third out wide will be Atomic Long, who's rocking home with White Noise. Then we go back, a photo there between, stay on the line, about 35 metres, a very impressive performance there by that pony, and Ollie, who take out the first race here on Cup 9.